All right, guys. Here's uh, these are the pigs. Now, what they look like? Monsters. I'm gonna go in there and try to do a measurement weigh on them. They love ice. That there, I've broken ice out of it now twice. And that's the pile. They love chewing on ice. I dump hot water in there, 10 gallons of hot water in there every time. Um, I'll be good in there for a couple days. What I'm gonna do is um, I let it ice over and then I go bring fresh water and just pour it on top, excuse me. And they give some hot water real quick, but they absolutely love ice. They're like me. I love crushed ice. <laughs> Look at these guys, they're huge. They are huge. And I've got a huge problem. Of course, they go into freezer camp on Tuesday, a week from yesterday, so today's Wednesday. I have to get them there either Monday night or Tuesday morning. Well, we've got a snowstorm coming in, sunny night, all day Monday. They have to have the pigs there no matter what. I can get it to them, get these two to them sometime in the afternoon after two o'clock on monday if i can get there with the snow i don't know so i'm gonna go and, and it's gonna be cold now that's what they've been in their home you see they've knocked out that bottom board they've been living in this thing they only come out when i come around um i don't know if you can see it or not if it's really visible but i do have a there is a heat lamp light, 250 watt heat lamp light in there, and a half a bale of straw hay. So, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to throw some feed in here for these girls, and I'm going to try to do a measurement on them. See if I can't get some kind of a, a measurement, and see if I can come close to what they weigh. They're waiting for their feed, and um, they're doing good. They're staying warm, and it seems like this cold weather is not bothering them. Uh, today's temp right now is about 19 degrees. Yesterday all day is about 16. And uh, so we've got nothing but cold weather. Keep moving on in. Um, so anyway, let me throw some feed in there for these girls. And I'm going to go try to do a measurement on them and see what I come up with. Uh, hopefully I can get a, a half decent measurement. I don't know if I'll be able to. Back up. They love eggs, so I am going to at least try to jump. Okay, I got one here that's in, if I can get her real quick. I'm going to say the small pig length is 50 inches. This is the big pig. Small pig was 50 inches. Big pig is 51. All right, now. Now the fun begins. This is big pig. I can't get the rope around it. All right, the big pig, big pig girth is fifty six. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I can't do it. They're too sketchy and I'm too scared. Back up. Back up. All right. Fix this camera here, guys. Sorry. 
they are too sketchy. Uh, especially a small one. I can't get near her. Um, I'm not going to attempt it. I'm just going to take, say, two inches off that one. I don't even remember what I said, but I said it on camera. So when I go back in, I'll get, retrieve that. And I'll kind of do my math and see what I come up with with weight for the pigs. See where we're at. But that's her there. She's just sketchy about me now. I don't know why. So, so the next video I'm going to be doing, you're going to see me. I've got to get that. Let me turn this around so I can see what I'm aiming at. That cage, because of the temperatures, I have to put siding on that. I wasn't expecting this to be this way this year at all. I have roofing, metal roofing, that I'm going to go ahead and um, put around that pen. So once they're enclosed in there, I have a 4x8 sheet of plywood I can put on top. And then I'm going to put a heat lamp in there. Because they're going to be in there overnight in the snowstorm. Straw hay in the bottom of that crate. So they'll be warm in there. And they'll be on my trailer. And I'll just keep them covered. I'll keep it all covered up because of the snowstorm. Um, that's got to be done on Monday. This snow thing's really messing things up. And it's cold weather too. Cold weather's not too bad. The snow is. I don't have four-wheel drive. And I'm going to have to take them 30 miles. And they are... See, like right now, we got snowflakes. It's been doing this all day. As you can see, everything's white. And the time... Now you hear my goats are going crazy. Yeah, all three of the females are in heat. All three of them. And my uh, both my weathered are over there trying to mount them. <laughs> That's precious. She's been screaming. Gave them hot water too. I broke their ice out and I pour hot water in there. I'm out here every other hour, every hour and a half. I'm out here bringing water to them, breaking ice. That's my biggest problem I have is ice freezing over, water rather freezing over. So they're eating. They're doing good. And I'm going to have to do a rebuild in this whole area because these pigs got so big that I just started destroying stuff. Alright guys, I'm going to get going. going to head on in. Get things wrapped up out here. And uh, we'll go from here. Look how big they are. Huge. Alright, let me get going. Okay, you've seen how big the pigs are. So now I'm going to go over with you what... Um, the, the pig math that I've used, that I've been always been pretty close with, to me, they look bigger than what the, this says now. But um, we'll know the true next week when I bring them in to freezer camp. Um, but I'm touch base with you again, what they were before and then what they are now. If you remember at the very beginning, I knew it was going to be long term to um, before I can get the pigs um, to freezer camp. So my goal was not to have a huge fatty pigs. That's not what I wanted. So we, um, I used the feed store. We came up with a feed that was gonna be good for the pig and mixed it. And so this is how we've got our, how we got our, um, our pigs where they're at now. Well, they're not excessively really big. I mean, they could have been 500 pounds easy right now, but we've got them trimmed down. All right, so here we go. This is what we have. The first time we sh I did this, let me get this set up. I showed you the pig math, and I got pig one, and I got pig two. This is November 6th. I did the first uh, weigh, uh, measurement and weighed. Remember, you take the girth, whatever the girth is, is and you weigh, the, and you wrap the cable, the, the string, I use this string, around behind the front legs and get the length and that was 45 inches so you're going to take 45 times 45 you got to do it twice times it then you take the length of the pig it was 45 so 45 times 45 times 45 so gives you that number and then then that number you divide by 400 and that gives you this weight and that weight for this pig at that time was 227.8 that's pig one. This is the pig that has the more of the black dots all across the back. Pig two was uh, end up weighing uh, 259. Okay, now it's November 6th. Here's November 27th, the pig math. Pig one weighed 325. 
and then pig 2 weighed 344. At this point, I was starting to change the feedback around to what they were normally eating because I thought maybe there was a chance that we would be able to get the pigs in at an earlier date to process. Um, I mean, there was a chance for me to get them all through, um, well, it would have been uh, early December and then early January for a couple of weeks. So I, so I started getting back on their feet again. Then once I realized that they were not going to, I kind of mixed it up a little bit. And here's what we have now for pig. This is um, 21021, which I just did a couple days ago or yesterday. I uh, did the wing. Pig 1 girth was 54 inches so you take 54 times it by 54 the length which was 50 you get that number divided by 400 and there's pig one pig one which is a stock spotted one weighs 364.50 right now so 365 pounds is what i'm th saying pig two the girth well, I wrote down uh, 55, but I've already times it. I don't know when my figures are right. I just wrote down the wrong number. The girth is 56. Then you times it by 56. I got 55. Made a mistake. Times 51. You get that number. Divided by 400. And now this pig weighs 399.85. So almost 400 pounds. Uh, right at 365 pounds. If my pig math works out, like they say, I haven't had issues with doing this before. Here's a close-up of what they weigh. Um, we will see. Um, like I said, this is my uh, one, two, three, four. This is my fifth run of having pigs, and I've always been real close with the math. Um, my last set, I was 20 pounds off with, with, with them. So, we'll see what happens. Um, uh, we'll get them in. And um, I'll know what they weigh the day that I drop them off, which will be Tuesday. Well, I'm just undecided yet. We've got a massive winter storm, Arctic blast coming in. But I just found out yesterday that we're predicted to get be anywhere between 10. Last night they said eight to be anywhere between 10 and 18 inches. This morning it says 10 to 15. I don't know. That's a lot of snow for us. And uh, we don't get that much snow here. Um, the weather is going to be minus 25 degrees Tuesday morning. That's not wind chill. That's minus. Yes. So, um, we'll see what they're going to weigh. I, I don't know. I can drop the pigs off Monday late afternoon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get there. My neighbor is going to volunteer. His, uh, he's got a big Chevy Dually 4x4. And he said I can use that to tow get the pigs in. So I have a feeling I'll have no problem getting the pigs there, getting them unloaded. Just the weather being that extreme cold, I've got to, I've got to uh, prepare for that for them. Um, anyway, we're back to this pig weighing. I rambled on a little bit. Uh, that's what they weigh now. The final weigh that I say they are. Pig 1 is 364. Pig 2 is 399. So we'll see what happens, guys. All right. Thanks for watching me watching watch my channel and uh, I appreciate it um, you know everybody hit that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel share with everybody let everybody know and um, we've already got our second set of pigs they'll be coming here probably within I'm gonna say another six weeks we should get our pigs our next set so anyway all right we're gonna get going you all have a great day once again thanks for watching see you later Bye.